In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I steam clean car air vents and why something like that would even be necessary. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you're here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing YouTube channel. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So the job I'm working on today is a really great example of something that must be managed expectation-wise, meaning it has come to such a level of dirtiness and messiness that it can only be improved to a certain level of perfection. It will never be restored to complete perfection. So let me flip the camera around, show you guys the vehicle I'm working on right now. So here is the front. Here's the front driver's seat. Here's the front floorboard. We have the passenger seat, the passenger floorboard. And you guys can see that at the end of the day, eventually when things get to a certain level, they can only be improved. They cannot be restored. So check out this air vent that I'm about to steam clean. I actually just got here about to go ahead and get started. But air vents as a rule should be very, very easy to clean. Not something that's very difficult. Difficult. It's pretty standard, but once it gets to a certain level like this, the dust actually begins to kind of form kind of like this adhesive quality on the air vents where you can't just dust it off with a brush. So because I can't just dust off this air vent with a regular brush or a makeup brush, I'm gonna have to use something with more force and the steamer actually allows me to accomplish this job, yield awesome results, but do it very quickly. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly how I do this. It's actually very simple and very straightforward. So literally all I'm gonna do is obviously, it's probably very self-explanatory, but I'm just gonna take my steamer. I've got the head of the steamer that has the one stream direct stream attached, and I'm literally just going to hit each blade one by one of the air vent just like this. And then of course I wanna move this over so that I can get underneath it. Now, some people get really freaked out when you get like kind of water inside of these air vents or something like that, but the uh, at the end of the day, it's really just not a big deal. For, first of all, the steamer is not putting much liquid whatsoever, and second of all, it's not actually going down into anything. It's just removing the surface dirt right here and catching some of the dirt on more of the inside places that are more up front. So this is a very safe way to do it, very safe strategy. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one as well. Now once I've done that, I of course want to take my microfiber towel and I want to get in between the blades like this, just kind of shove it in there, not really any sort of specific strategy, and dry it off as much as I can. Now when I'm working in the sun, this is going to dry off really easily on its own, so no big deal. Now as I'm working on air vents, I'm also surrounded by these other places like right here. Now these, I could just take a toothbrush and I could get in, but since I already have my steamer out, I'm already fixing up this stuff, I want to kind of get in between these buttons right here, the, uh, the hazard light button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my steamer and I'm going to go in between those buttons like this. And then of course dry it off once again. Just make sure I get all that stuff dry. Push the buttons up and down. Get all the areas. And then check that out. So I don't have to be super specific in drying every little bit. The sun will dry the rest. It's no big deal. But you guys can see I didn't use any product whatsoever. This is just the steamer. And those air vents look really, really awesome. So I've not done this one. But I just want to really show you guys again why I use this strategy. Because the dust that sits, after it sits for such a long time like it has in this car, it actually ends up kind of sticking and there's really no way to get it with a brush unless I scrub really hard and I risk kind of shoving a toothbrush in there, scraping things, cracking things, breaking the blades. And so the steamer just allows me to get really, really awesome results just like this with barely any effort and I didn't even use any product whatsoever. So there you go guys, that's just a super, super quick tip. If you don't have a steamer but you would like to see the steamers that I recommend for not only experienced detailers but also beginner detailers, check out the description box below this video. I'm going to hook up three, four, maybe five steamers that I recommend. I'm also going to hook up the one that I use, the VX5000, but there are some less expensive, less of an investment steamers that are still really, really awesome that you can check out. Use the Amazon links below. If you do end up buying one, definitely use the Amazon links below because it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so that I can continue to give out awesome tips and awesome content just like this for the pro detailers. Of course, if you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you want to tell me 
how you deal with really, really dirty air vents. Hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments right below this video. And of course, if you're new here, then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with daily videos just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that allowed me to turn my auto detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely consider subscribing. Thank you so much again for being so involved here in the Wilson Auto Detailing community. And from Luke, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.